What is going on everybody? My name is Insomnia Campbell and welcome back to the Lost Cave of the Ozarks. It has been a little while since we've uh, played this game or visited it. It has uh, come a long, long way since then. Rubber Gunner has been tirelessly working on this game and has been making huge, huge uh, bounds in production. And I've been given a beta key because I was, well, I'm one of the backers of the game, so I've been lucky enough to be able to test out the game and see how it's been going since the last time I played it. Last time I played it, I was the tour guide, and apparently I missed a few of the secrets by mistake, so hopefully when we revisit we'll get to uh, find those. So I'm really excited to get into it. Let's go. Ah, yes. Oh, hello there. I remember this intro. It's very, very pretty, and the music is just, ugh. Oh. It's wonderful. Welcome to the Ozarks, a beautiful place full of mystery. Ooh. This particular place has a particularly interesting history that stretches all the way back to the 1800s. I'm pretty sure. Would you like to hear it? I would love to. I'd love to revisit all this. It's good to play it again, re my memory. Way back in the 1880s, there was a little logging town in this very place. Ooh, it was just a small camp, really. They called the town Dryso. Ah yes, it's super intense to start off with. One day a troublesome band of notorious outlaws set fire to the town in the middle of the night. Naughty naughty. Also, uh, as a matter of fact, nobody's really sure why they did it. Many loggers asleep during the attack were severely injured. But did they die? And some met a terrible fate. Yes, yes, some of them did die, unfortunately. <sighs> One of the loggers, the widower, Mr. Walker, lived there with his young adopted nephew-in-law. The boy happened to be up late that night, reading his favourite book. As the smoke filled his shack, he managed to break open a nearby window with his bedside lantern. And escape into the fiery night. Bum bum ba. Interesting that there is enough detail to tell you that, uh... The a logger married a, another woman whose husband died apparently and he adopted this boy as his nephew. Very interesting. Uh, jump. Oh my goodness, it's so good to be back into this. Uh, J on keyboard. Oh gosh, okay. Alright. That's really weird. I don't know why I'm holding shift still, but hey, you know what? Oh, oh I hear that storm. So I'm, I'm curious and I really want to f see if there's... Um, much difference, oh gosh, in anything. Ah oh boy, that fire's getting closer. Oh, that's not good. Come on, come on boy, get up. Get up, 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 get up. I died. <laughs> oh no, it's not a good way to start. But hey, I do have to remember the controller. It was suggested that you use a controller and I am using the keyboard. Whoa! Oh my goodness, there is a menu. I did not know this was here before. View clues. Ooh, interesting. Level select. Uh, there are no other options at the moment. Oh gosh, what have I done? I think I found a bug. I think I found a bug. My bad. Oh gosh. Help! Plus somebody. <laughs> ah! How do I go back? Maybe if I restart. We'll restart. Okay, cool. No, that does work. Thank goodness. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yeah, uh, he did say there were going to be a few bugs, and he does know about some of the bugs. Uh, and there is a link that I can go to to report any, if there are any. So I will be looking out for them, uh, just, you know, to be as helpful as possible. Oh gosh. Do not jostle, TNT. Fortunately, not at all explosive. Uh-oh, the fire's coming. The fire's coming, Jimmy. We have to go. Uh, oh. Whew, that was a really good jump, Jimmy. I'm, I'm super proud of you. Oh gosh. Oh, oh that's right. I forgot the, the platforms break here. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, Jimmy. What have we done, Jimmy? We're stuck. We're not gonna make it, Jimmy. That's not good. Oh dear. <laughs> Goodbye, Jimmy. Oh, okay. Apparently he fell down here. Get up. Get up, Jimmy. Come on, boy. Let's go. 
Go, go, make it. Well, I'm actually super stoked that there is a checkpoint there. I'm not sure if that was implemented last time or this time, uh, because I didn't die last time. <laughs> it's been a while, so uh, you can imagine why I'm, I'm doing terribly at the moment. Now, we have to be a lot faster. Yes, we do. Oh, there we go. Whew, made it. My goodness. Now, apparently there are also multiple endings. I don't know if I said that last time or not. I probably did. I just forgot. Uh, so I'm super excited for that. I suppose it depends on how much of the uh, stuff you find. Hey. Oh, yes. I get to pick it up now. Bell, I'm sorry, but I had to do it. Our friend. Oh, yeah. No, that's right. We, 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 I do remember this. Yes. Uh, L to stop reading. Ah. Ooh. Okay, then. Interesting. I had to do it. See, what I'm thinking is that his father isn't dead. His father is an outlaw. Another man and uh, try to raise him as his own. That's just my theory. Oh, you can do it. I believe in you, kid. Yes, and we've got the uh, obsidian. Or is it? Or is it flint? I don't remember. Maybe it was something completely different. Uh, rare flintstone, that's right, mozokite, ooh, I love that word, mozokite, and there's a lantern up there, come on, Jimmy, you can do it, put your back into it, <laughs> it'd be really hilarious if I've already found out the story, the boy was reunited with his lantern, ah, yes, but Jimmy was smart, and striking the mozokite to the lantern, he reignited the flame, bum, 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 Intensity intensifies. This is actually really cool. All jokes aside, this is so. Is this new? There's like all these chairs and stuff here. Looks more like a church. Yeah, I'd say that's different. But again, it's been a little while since I've um, I've played. So up two, pal. I will try to help you. Keep searching for these clues. A friend, more like his father, the outlaw. Press L. Okay, I'll press L. I don't know why, but, oh yeah, because there's something down here, right? Yeah, you gotta, the little uh, pulley, uh, the, the handle, whoosh, the thing, support, the support, that's what it's called. Yes, good, good job. Real smart. Can we just, la 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 leap and not die? Yeah, we're fine. He's all good. He's a strong kid, this one. Ah, it's so beautiful. Robert Gardner has done such a good job with the uh, artwork that he has. And the music. Ah, there we go. Ha ha, made it. Oh boy, that's a tricky jump. Yes, it is. Ah, yes, I remember this. Oh my goodness, how could you not remember it? This one? You will not survive. Ooh, speaking, there's a chair back there. That's kind of um creepy. And, and what seems to be a prison cell. And then there's also a, 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 a cell as well. Oh boy. Whoop. Oh, no, that's right. I always do that by mistake. You gotta let go of the J and then. Oh, almost messed it up. Almost messed up the pattern. Survive! Ba 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 ba! Now what's going on? Ooh, new area! Oh, this is cool. Whoa, what? This is cool. This is very cool. I can go in there. Whoa, that looked pretty spooky. Or I can go up here, yeah? I can. Secrets! Oh my goodness. This is incredible. Rubber Gardener. Oh my goodness. What? Oh gosh, can I make that? Is that something I can make? Let's try it. Come on, kid! No, nope, I don't think I can. I don't know. I mean, I'll try again soon, but I don't see why there'd be a secret within a secret. But then again, who knows with the cave of the Ozark. Ooh, or Ozarks, rather, sorry. My goodness, this is beautiful. I love this tribal gem stuff going on. Ah, oh, it's so cool. And look, it's all magical and floating. Hey, 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 what happened there? Sorry. I'm just messing around, and the little Jimmy's getting tired, it would seem. Can I just go like this? I can just do that, I don't see why I need to hop across to that bit. Unless, of course, you can go across. Or there's another pattern to it. This is just part of it. I have to come back. Oh, 
Ah, yes, you gotta time it. I see. Ooh, that looks like a dog. <gasps> yes, there's a note here. Ooh, ha 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 ha. This is so cool. Whoa. Okay. Now I have chills. What am I doing? What am I looking at? Can I... Is this something I can do? I'm not sure. Or is that on the other side? That's because this isn't secret. This is all part of it. Hmm. Okay, well, let's... let's continue inside and see what we can find. Hey, get down from there. That's because you can continue up there. Hi. Uh, don't mind me. Definitely not a concern. No, sir. Can I burn this? I can too. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Up. Oh. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. I don't want to go down. I want to go up. Aha, there you go. It's a little trump. It's a little trick you can do where like if you run forward and then kind of backwards, he kind of gets a little additional boost. Maybe we can utilize that some more. Maybe I can get up there. I'm just doing a really bad job of it. Not sure. Oh, but look at that in the background. That's like a castle of the rock. Whoa, that's cool, man. I want the clue. A piece of paper. Give me the piece of paper. I want it so bad. Give it to me. Can't get in there either. All right, fine. We'll have another. Oh, I am a huge ding dong. I need to push this to get up there. That's right. This block here is used in two parts. Duh. I don't know what I was thinking. Also, is it just me or does his eyes go yellow? They. Were, I'm pretty sure they were yellow before. Now they're green. Was it just the lighting? Hi. You are not at all terrifying. I'm really hoping those um, podiums are blocking your creepy dark voodoo power. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm just uh, just keep on going, ignoring you, just going on my way. Yep. Just having a bit of a shower. It's all good. <laughs> can imagine that there'll be some levels and puzzles where you cannot let your lantern go out at all because it'll get too dark and then monsters will uh, swarm you and that would not be fun. Aha! Ooh. Oh! Interesting! I like it. I like it a lot. That's quite spooky. But we're... Oh! 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 Uh-oh! Oh. Uh oh, are we releasing him? Oh gosh, I really don't want to be. I'd rather not. Unless, of course, he's a totally cool guy. You know, looks can be deceiving in the, the way that they're actually nice dudes. They just look like the evil deceiving type. Yes, uh, just gonna keep on ignoring you. Oh gosh, is it all... Nah, no, okay, it's just the light. That's a cool effect, actually. That's pretty cool. Transitioning outside from inside like that. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Now we should be good to continue the rest of this puzzle, yeah? Oh, we can get over there now. Oh, yeah. And we can continue up. Oh, ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, I see. I wasn't supposed to be able to get up like that. Oops. <laughs> My bad. My bad. And now we can continue inside. I think. Um. Oh, oh we can get a run up. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm actually not entirely sure at all. Well, now I'm really confused. I'm really loving the uh, acoustic. So good, right? Such a good, it's just, I don't know, it's just really, everything is just really well woven together the art and the visuals really complement the music and and vice versa it's really well done i'm loving it i just wish i could get up here maybe i can just <laughs> nope that did not work at all as i was uh, hoping it would why does the camera cut like that like i feel like you're supposed to be able to get there right or is it just me ah this place is el dorado Ah, cool. So the boy, Libidon, and there's one more character we can play. So you can choose between each of the segments. That's cool. 
Very cool indeed. I don't know if there's another piece of the puzzle that I'm not seeing or what, but I feel like I'm supposed to be able to jump up to it and then just climb around it. But for some reason, that ain't working. But also, I feel like I'm supposed to go over there, but I, I've also struggled to do that. So I think I'm just going to move on. For now, I can always, you know, revisit it later or come back to it at another point. And there's much to explore, I'd imagine, so we must keep moving. Tick tock. Let's see what's down here. Perhaps, maybe I'm supposed to go this way. Oh! Uh, hi. There's a spirit there. Well, well, well then. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to go this way and then come back. Oh gosh, there's another spirit. There's a lot of spirits. Holy heck, and there's jewels. Hi. This is getting odd. How's it going? Can I flame you? No. Okay. Oh, that's cool. They're helping me. They're spirit guides. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Hey, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I, I messed that up. That was my bad. My apologies. Can we try again? Thanks. Alright, let's not mess it up this time. Dang it, I messed it up again. Silly me. Silly me. We gotta go off to the side here. Now we can get up. Aha. Uh -huh. Good job, Anvil. Good job. Hello, Mr. Spirit. Sir Knight. Hello. Ooh. Ah, so you can jump from the bottom of those and end up on top. Cool. Oh, good thing I was holding Jay down. My goodness. Ah. Okay, can I get in here? No, I can't. Sorry, I just wanted to, I just wanted to test it, see what would happen. Yeah, so now we're on top. Okay, gotcha. I was supposed to do that. I was like, oh, here we go. That's why that's there. So I can't push it off and ruin the puzzle. Gotcha. I see. I see. Ah uh, ha ha ha. So I was supposed to do all that. Righty ho then. Aha! Did it! Oh, I'm so clever! Finally! <laughs> Finally! Whoa! If you're looking for trouble, you found it! Consider this, yeah, fair warning! Outlaw Willy! Or Wily! Willy or Wily? I'm gonna go with Willy! Now nah, we'll go Wily! Four, pal! Once it is done, we can rest! A friend! My goodness, it's kind of hard to see! And then we can, ah, uh, <laughs> it's all coming together. Okay, cool. Thank goodness. I was really afraid that I was not going to be able to get that puzzle piece. Right, so maybe I'm going to get up there before it was completely unintentional. Gotcha. That was just one part of the puzzle. And we did have to go around. Mm, tricky, tricky, tricky. It, it, it does seem like you should be able to get up there, but you can't. Oh! There we go. Nice. I like these snake pillars and the dog pillars, I believe. Right, go! Go, boy! Oh! Okay, okay, we'll go here then. Ah, that's how we get up. Oh, it's so cool! I love it so much. This is fascinating. So no real uh, game glitches or anything like that so far. Oh, gosh. What happened? Okay. That was weird. What just happened there? Ah, oh, did I just drop my lantern? Oh, he's going to sleep. Ah, cute. Ah, yes, now we get to be a little bit on the, the tour guide. Cool, cool, cool. And I get to find those secrets that I missed. Oh, okay, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Look at him. Ah, ah hello there. I'm Libidon, your tour guide. Nice to meet you, yes. We start our tour here with one of the most famous rooms of the last games of the Ozarks. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, the Rotunda, named for its fantastic rounded ceiling, which some think resembles a Capitol building. But they are fools. If you look up, you'd be hard to miss the fact that our beautiful Rotunda has a large hole. <laughs> like many things, like my nose. We affectionately call this hole the window to the underworld. Ooh, spooky. It's believed this thing always the site of the caves, we discovery multiple boot farms by dozens of people over several centuries. Of oh, these many rediscoveries, the most popular story involves an Osage hunting party. Yes, fascinating, really. Legend goes the hunting party was tracking a deer through the woods when they crossed paths with a ferocious bear. Oh. Oh. The bear chased the man for about 50 yards before knocking the youngest member down with one quick swipe of his paw. Mm. 
Wounded, the man rolled over and looked up in fear when he saw the bloodlust in the bear's eyes as it fixated on him. <laughs> the bear moved forward and delivered a mighty blow with its powerful paw, breaking several of the man's ribs. Ooh, ah, not good for him, no. Reading in pain, the brave hunter grasped the only remaining arrow in his quiver and thrusted it into the bear's throat. An eye for an eye, I'd say. For a moment, the bear recoiled in shock and pain before unleashing vengeful fury and lunged for the helpless man's throat in return. Turn. But just before the powerful jaws were able to rip the man's flesh, the ground gave way beneath them. Oh, fortunate, I perhaps, maybe, the earth inhaled them both into this underworld. Unable to safely enter or see into the sinkhole, the rest of the hunting party believed their young companion to be dead. Not good, not good. However, to the shock of the entire tribe, the bravest hunter returned to them three days later, carrying along the top half of the bear's carcass. With all those broken ribs, when asked how he survived, the hunter said he fed on the bear's lower half for two days in order to gain its strength, which allowed him to emerge and return on the underworld. Oh, I can use this flashlight to what? Watch out! Ah, that's right. Wow, let's beam. Pow, 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 pow. Oh, gosh. What have I done? <laughs> I've done something. Oh! Oh, now if you look over to your right, you'll see a rather strange structure hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, there's a support beam thing going on there. Nobody knows exactly who made it or how it even got there. The style is not consistent with any known cultures to have been in this area. Fascinating. Yes. <laughs> Live it on, I'm going to have a lot of fun with <laughs> Look at his little pot belly. He's so cute. What? Gotta make sure that there's nothing else. I can jump, which is fortunate. But not with spacebar. I have to press up to jump. That's very strange. Why can I jump with the up button but not space? Bum bum bum! In 1950, a lease was purchased for the purpose of fixing up the lost cave and giving attraction tours. Yeah, I think I've seen this one before. The spot is where the ceremonial ribbon was cut to mark the start of the first new and improved tour. Starring yours truly, Libidon. It reads, from this point forward, may you always find your courage and guiding light. That is a reference uh, to me, of course. Mm. The inherited lease holders claim this is a poetic reference to the original tours that were guided by candlelight before the upgraded lighting systems were installed. Very cool, I know, but not safe. No, no, no. Anyway, moving on. This way. Follow me. Come on. Pip, pip, cheerio. We've got many things to see today and not a lot of daylight left. Kacha! Now, let's see what's over here, shall we? Oh, the platform that I'm standing on. Yes, of course, this is where Slab was placed there in 1894 after the game was first opened for those first few adventurers. Taurus. It reads, may everyone who walks over this pedestal enjoy this marvelous camp of splendor. Yes, but always remain humble in its existence and reverence of the tragedy. A tragedy, you say? Hmm, yes, what is that? The interesting thing is, well, <clears throat> we aren't really sure what tragedy this is referencing. No, we have not a clue, not one bit at all, not a scrap of evidence. May there is suggest it could be a reference to the fires of 1880, although others argue that event didn't involve the cave. With no relevant clues, this, like many other stories of the Lost Cave, remains shrouded in mystery. Exciting stuff. Now, come on, let's go. Perhaps that was the thing that I missed last time. I hope I don't miss anything again. <laughs> that would suck. Jump, boy, jump. Oh, yes, that's like the crack in the stalactite. Stalactite? I don't remember. That iconic formation is called the State House Bell due to its bell like shape and the large crack running down it. A crack was a result of it falling down from the cave ceiling as a stalactite and crashing down onto the floor to become a stalagmite. Yes, aha, I remember. Another result of the crash, one of the largest ever deposits of Ozakite was unearthed and later mined from around it. And it is believed that there are tons more left undiscovered beneath the monolith. Ooh, spooky. You know what this reminds me of? This the, the stalactite that fell and became a stalagmite. Reminds me of the uh, thing that we chopped down to f that fell to the ground so we could climb up the rest of the cave. Could it be the same thing? Hmm, curious. I really hope I haven't missed anything else. Oh well, I suppose we'll find out if we haven't. Whoa. And here we are, the torture chamber. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite place to come. Legends say that centuries of tourists. 
Torture and sacrifice that took place in this corridor have stained the walls with blood. Now we get spooky. Of course, lessons are always more fanciful than reality. Or, uh, sorry, I had to yawn momentarily. My apologies, the red coloration you see on the walls are actually caused by iron oxide in the rock. Not by spooky blood magic. After this room and its red stained walls were discovered, the miners of the 1870s began mining the cave for ore. Fascinating. This is pretty cool. And thus, a small mining camp was established here, which would later expand to fishing and lumber enterprises depending on the season. Once the camp became more rooted in the, the 1880s, it became known as Dentro. Oh, yeah. I thought, it was something called, I thought it was called something else. Hmm. Different stories, eh? I suppose you can't get all the facts right. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Bum 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 bum! And here you'll find another of the Lost Caves' remarkable formations. Yeah, so this is actually quite interesting. It kind of like spirals out and around. Early explorers thought the sharp looming stuck tight above and the flat flow stone below resembled a guillotine. Of course it did. These two formations came to be known as the Blade and the Bascule, a rather fitting name for the torture chamber, if I do say so myself. Really, it's hard to say whether the formation influenced the name of the chamber or the chamber influenced the name of the formation. <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun with this guy. I'm super sorry if anyone else is like, Also, what is his hat? Looks like a purple rainbow or dress thing. I'm not entirely sure, but it's kind of cute. Oh, ooh. Ooh, okay. Whoa, if you look all around the chamber, I think you might have a better understanding of where this cave gets its name. Ah, yes. Many people eager to chart its interior and mining potential enter the cave only to get lost in its branching tunnels. Oh, we've been here. Most of the tunnels diverging from this room are dead ends to dangerous or just loop around. Thus, our tour continues straight ahead. Yeah, okay, yeah, so this is just all the same place. Fascinating. Hey, no, no, I don't need to see it again. Whoa. What just happened? I don't know, we kind of like drifted off. That was strange. Ooh, this room, I have to say, is one of my absolute favorites. Ah, oh, these hidden cascades form one of the largest subterranean waterfalls in the world. Imagine speak of old Spanish explorers who swore this was, in fact, the actual fountain of youth. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, they believed the source at the top of this waterfall was the source of its magic properties. Hmm. And when the cave was reopened to the public in 1915, amazing historical discovery was found in this very room an old Spanish treasure chest. Yeah, the same one the boy used. It sat there, untouched and waiting to be discovered since its owners abandoned it more than 300 years ago before the United States was established. All of this, of course, is why we finally call this room the Fountain of Youth. Fascinating stuff. Oh, this is so cool. I like this. So he goes on to um, shop at locations that the boy discovers later on. And then I mentioned we uh, switch, um, switch to our outlaw character as well. And he himself either comes along a, a further point back in time or possibly later on after the boy. Before or after the boy, I'd imagine. Not sure. Anyway, what's this way? Seems to be something else going on. Uh, excuse me, hello. Can someone, uh, shed some light on the situation? I don't know what's going on. I'm so confused. Or do I have to go back? I can't access the menu off screen, but I can on screen. I think, yeah, okay, we'll, uh, restart this bit of the Oh, okay, thank goodness. We just, we're, we're here. <sighs> Thought I was going to have to do all that again. Not that I mind, but it just, you know, takes time, that's all. Ah, okay, sweet, we're good. Right, it was just a camera. The camera momentarily broke. Ooh, we need to go inside the cave. Oh, this is spooky. What is going on? Ah, it looks like it burnt out. Creepy. Oh, oh, here we go. We can actually review this. Ah. If you'll cast your gaze through that opening there, you'll see the second feature of the critter. The second. Oh, I missed something. That large flowstone you see back there is called the Critter's Heart. As you can make out, it's heart-like form. Yeah, yeah, heart, yeah. Curious, the old Osage legends refer to a cave in this exact area that contains the gnarled heart of Coyote. Oh, spooky. It is possible for Coyote in this instance to be the personification of death and misfortune. 
Yep, that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Whether the critter's heart is one in the same or not, we like to keep some distance between it and the doors. Just in case. Probably should go back to this opening then, yeah? Yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. I almost missed it. My bad. Bum, 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 bum. This remarkable formation is half man-made and half natural. In the early days of Dentro, this was a narrow path that only the smallest miners could crawl through. But now anyone can get through, even you fatty in the back. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It didn't take long until they decided to widen the hole with dynamite, creating a large enough path to get well bars through. This massive doorway of jagged sandstone and stalactites is the first feature of what we call the Critter. Specifically, this is the Critter's mouth. Ah. Oh, no, I don't want to do it again. Sorry. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, Creepy Dad's a face as well. Oh, look at him. He's falling. <laughs> Whee! Whoa! Or is that just part of the, um, what's going on with the light here? So he's, like, trying to fall down, but he can't anymore because it's blocked off. But not entirely so that his, uh, animation doesn't register that it should not be doing that. Bubble eye, whatever. Can I? I can access it. Ooh, it's a spirit. Aha, I knew it. Of course, obviously. Uh, Goodness, we are lucky enough to catch a rare glimpse of the third and most perplexing feature of the critter. <laughs> a ghost. Or probably just, uh, graphics. The spook light is a phenomenon with an unexplained natural or possibly supernatural origin, yes. Uh, some scientists believe it is caused by swamp gases. Others believe it is reflected electricity caused by tectonic forces underground. Yes. And there are countless legends about the wandering spirits of tragically murdered people ranging from warriors to guardians of this cave. Yes, that's what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whatever the actual cause, we have aptly named this rare occurrence the Critter's Soul. Alright, let's keep going. We'll hop down here now. Bum, 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 bum. Very dangerous tour, I must say. Oh, that was so cool. I got to see a lot new stuff. Super excited. Oh, we're with the boy again. The second night. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to have to leave the episode here, though, because I have run out of time. We'll have to visit part two the second night in the next episode. I hope you guys have been enjoying this so far. I'm absolutely loving playing this game. It is so much fun. Uh, and I don't know how much more there is to go. So who knows? The next episode might be quite short. But if it is an entire night, then I imagine it will be roughly the same as the other one. Whoa. Okay. That is a lot of falling. Good thing that this boy doesn't suffer from ground shock much. My goodness. Crazy. Rabagana, thank you so much for giving me a beta key. Um, I've been so excited to play this game again. I've been looking forward to it. I honestly am so happy that I am finally playing it again. I cannot wait for it to be ready because this game is just absolutely incredible. And it's going to be even more incredible once it is 100% completed. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to getting this game yourself. Uh, when it does eventually come out. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Until then, have a good day, have a good night. Bye-bye.